Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, example 10. The flexible loop in figure 5.25 has a radius of 12 cm and its magnetic field strength of 0 0.15 tesla. The loop is grabs at a point A and B and stretch until the area is nearly zero. If it takes 0 0.2 seconds to close the loop, what is the magnitude of the average induced EMF during this time? So, yang pertama sekali, soalan kata radius 12 cm and the magnetic field strength B is 0 0.15 Tesla. The area is stretched until it is nearly zero. Maksudnya ada the change in area. Yang mana area yang final adalah Z. Zero. If it takes masanya 0 0.2 second to close the loop, we need to calculate the induced EMF. Okay, so what is the magnitude of the average induced EMF during this time? So, dalam case ini, area berubah magnetic field con constant. Therefore, we use equation induced EMF is equals to negative N B D A over D D T. That is equals to negative. The number of loop dalam case ini adalah sah. Satu. Kalau dia tak beritahu berapa number of turns, therefore, kita always letak satu lah. Okay, so dalam kes ni dia kata a loop, a loop maksudnya satu sahaja number of turns. Times 0 0.15 DA, okay, so area initial, area final kosong, okay. Initial area A is equals to pi r square, the area of a circle. So, pi times 12 centi square, dan kita akan dapat jawapan untuk area 4.524 exponent negative 2 meter square. Saya ambil lebih sikit titik perpuluhan untuk mengelakkan daripada round of error. So, 0 minus 4.524 exponent negative 2 over 0 0.2. So, the induced EMF in this coil is 3.39 Exponent negative 3 volt. Okay. So, apa yang berlaku kat sini adalah Negative, uh, negative uh, Dia po positif. So, kita tetap akan dapat magnitude of induced EMF. Tetapi, kalau ada solution kadang-kadang dia tak letak negative sign di hadapan equation ni. So, dia positifkan saja apa yang ada di dalam kurungan ini. Sebab dia hanya melibatkan mag magnitude sahaja. Tapi, saya letakkan saja sebab equation asal dah ada ne negative. Dan kalau kita dapat negatif sekalipun, bila soalan minta magnitude, kita boleh ignore negative sign itu kerana negative sign indicates the direction of induced EMF opposed the change that caused it. Okay. So, itu saja untuk example 10. Kiranya ada apa-apa masalah boleh tanya saya dalam kelas tutorial. Assalamualaikum.